Greetings everyone, the Goods of Nights here, and today we're doing a one-off topic discussion. We're going to be discussing the Japanese driving test. So why is this a big thing? Well, American side, you have to pay $200, do the 16-year-old test when you're 16, or you do the $20 and take the test when you're 18, which is what I did, because we were poor, so. Drive around the block a few times, stop at the curb, don't hit the curb, leave the curb, congratulations, here's your driver's license. That's it. But Japan... The driving test is an absolute nightmare. It is bureaucracy for the sake of bureaucracy and basically just raking in income from the uh, lowly plebeians and peasants who don't serve in the government. So, Japanese driver's test. What is it? So, the Japanese driver's test is quite possibly the strictest, most pedantic driving test in the entire world. And I say that because it's all without purpose. It gives you kind of like an idea of how to safely drive, but as soon as you're actually on the road, it's absolute chaos, for the most part. Some people are pretty cool, but you have got that one guy who's zipping through traffic. You've got at least two to three collisions to and from the way to work every day without failure. So, Given the high rate of accidents and all the shenanigans going on, oh, I gotta emphasize, we're Okinawa, mind you, not that many people drive in mainland, because they have a nice subway system, and if you try driving in mainland, you go three miles every hour, maybe? Traffic pending. Your mileage may vary. Or kilometers, because that's what we're technically measuring. And so, you have this driving test, it's super pedantic, and the test driver's there, the test giver's there, he's on the left side, because you're driving on the right side, it's Japan. Well, you're on the right seat, driving on the left side. It's a fun country. <laughs> oh my god. So the tester is there in the passenger seat. He's staring at you. He's got his little notepad. And he's going over the course. And he's checking every little thing. So I'm going to use an example. One of my favorite examples. And that's making a left turn. Practically anywhere. Just a left turn. Because they will hit you if you miss any little detail. So how do you make a left turn during the test? Now, I'm telling you this because no one else is going to tell you if you come from a foreign country, like myself and you're trying to pass this test, they go, hey, I've got this license, I've had it for years, they go, okay, cool, um, you gotta do the Japanese driving test. Unless you're former Air Force with a SOFA license, he knows who he is, you gotta retake the, you gotta take the whole driving test. So, what do they do? So, there's schools for this. Actual schools, practically colleges, that you go to when you're like 16 or so, and you shell out thousands and thousands of dollars just to get in a little bit of practice and for them to tell you oh hey here's the way to do it do it like this on the test you'll pass the whole purpose of the court of the te of the, te of the uh, school is to pass the test to go out into the real world where no one drives like that anyway thousands of dollars and everyone's just kind of like okay with it. They're like, yeah, my money? I don't want it. You're just going to tax it anyway. So, years. People go to these schools for years and spend thousands of dollars to take a test that lasts maybe like five minutes if you're taking your time. And they give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But generally, it's going to be a thumbs down if you're on the foreign side like me because... You have an idea, you know how to drive safe. You know how to drive, you know how to drive safe. But are you driving Japanese safe? Which will immediately cease to be of any relevance or importance once you pass the test. So, it's all for the sake of passing this test. So make it a left turn. Dude's staring at you with his notebook, you're driving. You're what, like 50 some odd meters, some distance, a good distance away we'll say. You're driving in the middle of the lane. He's like, okay, hey. You're going to make this left turn. You go, okay, cool. First thing you got to do, check your rear view mirror. Don't just go like, look at it with your eyes. Actually physically move your head, because that's he's looking at you. He's not looking at your eyes. He's looking at your head movement. You don't even have to really look at the mirror. You can just do like that. We'll keep your eyes perfectly on the road. And he's going to be like, oh, yeah, he checked his rear view mirror. Rear view mirror is clear, because no one else is on the road. You hit that blinker light for the left. Okay, cool. Blinker's on. Next step. You're going to be slowing down a bit. You don't want to go too fast or you're not going to have enough time to go through all these 
insane steps and make the uh, test take the uh, test giver happy. So, start slowing down a bit. And check the other things. The next thing you do, check your left rearview mirror. All right, cool. Checking the mirror. No one's there, obviously. And then, real quick, while you're doing that, because he's watching you, he's like right here. Then you look over your shoulder. You don't even have to really be paying attention. You, you should, but for the purpose of the test, you just look over your shoulder real quick, and that's proving, hey, no one's in my blind spot. Then you shift the car over so that you're in the left side of the lane. You're in the center, lane's this big, now you're off on that left side. So, left tires are close to the little white line, and you're coming up, stop before the line. Always stop before the line. If you go slightly over the line, they're going to be all up in your business. You basically get three strikes, and it could be anything. So if I check the thing, hit the blinker, check the uh, side mirror, and then moved into the lane, I didn't check it for my shoulder. That's one of three. Then you fail. You do it again. But not immediately. Next week, maybe two weeks later, when they feel like it. So pedantic. So you stop. You stop at the you stop at the little T intersection. You look left. You look right. You look left again. Everything looks pretty good. Don't move your hands. You're still on that steering wheel. Over the shoulder. One more time. One more time. Because if you already missed that one time, then you're doing it now. That's two strikes already for not looking over your shoulder and making the guy happy. You don't even have to. It's not just looking over your shoulder. It's making sure he sees you looking over your shoulder. Because if he doesn't see it, he's going to go, oh, I was looking at my notebook real quick. You probably didn't do it. Shenanigans. It's the moral of the story. That's what I'm trying to get through to you. And that's just left turn. And you pull out a lane, you hit the wheel, and you're in the left lane, and you start going. That's just left turn. They have all sorts of inane rules for everything. Again, colleges for driving schools. Making absolute bank. Because you got as the test. So if you're on the jet, if you're on the coming in from an outside country like myself, and you want to know how to pass the test, it's absolutely insane. I forgot how much stuff there was when I did my automatic license and I'm doing the manual testing. And that's why this is all coming back to me because it sucks. No one's gonna tell you what you need to do. They want you to do the course over and over until you finally pass. However, so here's the big thing. With the Japanese side, because they're spending all this money on the schools, the schools, like colleges, have prestigious reputations. If you go to a prestigious enough school, they're not really going to pay attention to the test. They go, oh, this guy has paid $23,000 over the course of the last year and a half at the school to take this test. Yeah, he's just, he's just going to do it once. If you mess up, I'm just going to be like, hey, you hit that old person, you ran over the curb six times. Eh, be more careful when you get your license, which is today, so have a nice day, sir. Yeah, so, working from a bit of a disadvantage, but you can do it. I did pass mine on the second try. So the guy gave me all the details on the first end, but if you know how to drive, that makes things a lot easier. You just gotta basically focus on all the things they want you to do, and make sure you're showing them what they want to see. And that's it, so, just wanted to tell you guys, the Japanese driving schools and the driving test, it's wonky, and it sucks. And if you want to stay here for a period greater than like three to six months, or just live in mainland, you're going to have to pass at some point. So, that's everything I have for you guys. Hope you find that interesting. If you are currently in the position of struggling to pass, or you need to take the test here in the near future, I hope this video gives you some interesting insight. If you guys really want to know everything you really need to know to pass that test, I could consider doing a small series on the channel. Just a few videos covering a bunch of the key things. And make sure you guys know everything you need to know. Because again, no one's going to tell you these things. You're going to have to bang your head against the wall like a Dark Souls boss until you finally get what they want and you're able to do it. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you want to see, if you would like to see a little driving school, Good Sir Night School of Driving, for free on YouTube. Because you shouldn't have to pay for this stuff. It's ridiculous that they want people to give them money for these schools. But yeah, if you guys are interested in that, just comment down below. And if we get enough, I'll probably put together a quick video. Maybe even grab one of my uh, 
half Japanese buddies or someone who had to do all the tests and knows all the nonsense and basically put together a little video of every little detail you need to know so you can pass because it sucks a lot it sucks so that's basically all I got for you guys cheers stay chivalrous I'll see you in the next video bye everyone